Hey everyone, Andrew here, and welcome back to Hot Wheels Beat Death. And this time, we are going to get all the goals of these things. Yeah, of the whole entire thing. So, I don't know what we need, and I'm going to use Jackhammer, just because I don't know what we're doing. I think... Okay, we completed that one. So we need to drift... 500 points. <laughs> we showed them last time. Oh, man. Yeah, Jackhammer is a pretty cool car. And we haven't used it at all. And I can get this thing just because I can. And... But, really, I can just stay here and just get a bunch of drifts. And I can still win the race. How about that? See? Look at that. We're done. So let me show you something here. That I am in the slowest speed car in the game. And I had a huge... I was way behind. And look at me. I'm in first already. Not even half a lap. This is just that episode that, with the grind, that we just have to sit back, relax, and we're in for the big haul. Okay, let's do fanciness here, and let's do this fanciness here that I don't think we've seen yet that we can do this. Yeah. Fanciness. Oh, the track's up there. That's pretty cool. You saw the dust bunny thing that got fired off back there. I don't think I pointed those out before, but that was always a thing I remembered with that, that part. It's like, what is up with those? We can use the this one because we haven't used it yet and we just got it. So we need a smoke on the bed and one blue weapon that's easy peasy there you guys are getting crushed this car is a beast Go! bye <laughs> so i think this is the mattress right there no i need to find oh there's the blue thing up there Ooh, are we forced to try to get up there Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one to mine. Mine your own business. Oh, blue one right here. There we go. One, there's one goal. I need smoke. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Well, that car is almost fast enough to get up there on its own. This might be the car to do it if we can get a boost. It's a shield, not a boost. Three rockets. That's so helpful. Well, I got the Tesla from up there. That's so cool. Hey, guys in the loop. How's it going? See, they're in the loop. They, they know what's going on. Way to go. Yeah, way to go. That's kind of cool, just jumping off there on the side. And so this one, it's smash into all dominoes. Holy cow, that was cool. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey guys, can domino effect, the domino effect, there we go, nice, blam, by drone, pass you without a boost, and he had a boost, man, what is up with these guys, hey, are those gunner glasses, hey, there's my mine, and <laughs> that dude just got hit, and up here, whoa, flip, nice, dual barrel, Domino's, uh, Domino Pizza, uh, I like to place my order, uh, pepperoni pizza with olives, and, uh, maybe get here in the next ten minutes, um, I'm getting hungry, and, uh, do you guys have anyone who can, uh, play Domino's there? Because you're named Domino's. I, th I think you named that for a reason. And 
flip. Yay. Coolness. Okay, corkscrew. Screw you. Hey, we ran over his math homework. <laughs> yeah, your math homework, and then you got your CD right there. Yeah? Yeah, you like to listen to CDs? That was when MP3s were just starting. Like, when they were just starting to become a more of a main thing. There were more to, of the internet uh, audio file. I still have some CDs. Actually, I still have a lot of CDs. Like, most of my stuff nowadays is all MP3, but... Okay, so I need to get that thing open. That's the goal for this one. Do you see he had stuff on the roof, like, of that first bunk there? Ah, shoot, I should have saved the mortar. Crap. That first bunk dude, he had stuff above him. Like, I had a bunk bed, and... I don't remember if I did stuff like that, or if I did stuff similar to that. Actually, I did, uh, when I was on the top bunk, I put stuff on the ceiling. And when I was on the bottom bunk, I want to say I had stuff under there. Okay, what's down here? We haven't been down here. Okay. This? Okay, cool. When I was on the bottom bunk, I had, uh, I had a little light or two on the roof. So then you could just turn it on or off. And I kind of wish I had something like that now that you can get cozy and read a book or something under there. If you're claustrophobic, that wouldn't be too good, but I like the cozy, protected feeling, I guess. I'm getting so far ahead of these guys. This is insane. Wow. That was crazy. So now that we had that car, let's get a car that we haven't used that I'd like to. Let's get, um... Let's do this one, mid-drift. This one, it's pretty simple. It's just get enough points so then you can supercharge and that's pretty easy. You know, the smoke seems to be like the ink or whatever on a Mario Kart that it's like it just doesn't do a whole lot. Like if you're a good player you can get through it. Yeah, you're a lot easier to draft with these slow poke. Um, this one. There we go. We, we done. We done, son. This card seems like it's it's either really low to the ground, or it has huge tires. Or both. Like, that'd be crazy driving it, and you being able to see your tire- Like, your tires being above your head in the car. You know, if I just get eliminated next, it would go faster. Did you know that? So, if we just... Like, hey, Jackhammer, I want to get eliminated next, instead of wasting time trying to win. Yeah. Hey, you've been eliminated, son. See, then, boom, we're done. We're out. That's, that's perfect. Very nice. Let's go with the bully goat. He's a bully. Whoa, that dude just went flying. Like, where'd he go? Okay, can I get a mine? Because I need a mine to put on this area. What? It's not this area? Oh, it is. It just had to be hit. Okay. I love all the little details they put in this game. Like, there's the houses out there. But, like, seeing all the stuff everywhere and in the rooms and everything it is pretty cool the attention to detail is great and 
the sets. It's a great idea. And that the tracks, that you can see other parts of the track if you're looking. Like, you can see on the left there or above there. And we win with a weapon, which is gold. Yeah. Let's go with the truck. Oh, this is an easy one. All we have to do is drift around at the beginning for a minute, and then we win. Then we get the goal. Let's do it. Three, and get two, that speed one. boost just to show off. But then, really, all we're gonna do is just drift around right here for a minute. There we go. I kinda like the truck. It's like, it's just kinda average. But, it, I like the bulkiness, I guess, of it. Like, the other cars, they're supposed to look cool and fast, but this thing, it it looks strong and tough, I guess. Which, it's, I guess, a different... It, it's a nice contrast, I guess. Uh, camera, you just glitched. Whoa, we're starting by the fish! Well, I guess I can shoot these guys. Come on, dude, I'm gonna shoot you so then I can... Let's uh, do some drifts and finish that off. Yeah, there we go. Get out of the way, drone. Come on. Is that four? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I lost. I was about to hit the other guy, but... Oh, okay. Well, we got it. Doesn't matter. Well, crap. We have a tournament we have to do. Um, let's take this car. 15,000 points. Okay. Basically, all we have to do is just spend the whole time spinning around and drifting, and then we'll be good. If we just do this forever, 15,000 points later, we'll make it. Oh, I almost spun around that. That would have been cool. Wow, that was a huge drift. I, oh, I think it quit after, like, 6,000. So, I think the game's like, Nope, you've had 6,000, you can't get any more. How many more thousands of points do we have to get to reach? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, beat that, kids. We got 15,000 points from drifting. And now, I am going to try, try, that's the keyword, uh, to... Uh, get back and win? Yeah, that's a long time. Maybe I should just wait it out. Just, like, quit. Just let it happen. How can I spend that much time messing around? Oh, because they stop. The AI is, like, required to stop, I guess. Like, oh, he's not moving any? Oh. Oh, you got a problem here? Wow, revenge is a thing. Now look at that. I'm in first. It's not even the last lap. Like, I mean, look at that. These guys are such losers. If I can just fool around for a few minutes and then still win within two laps. I just noticed the sun is coming through the window at that perfect spot. That's so annoying. Just like, just hit my eye perfectly and it's, oh. Don't you hate it when that happens? I wonder if what makes gaming so popular is that the games are kind of like, uh, they bring people in because you get interested in the game. And then the person who's playing it like, just the things that come up with the game, they uh, make conversation and you get to know the person playing it better. And that's why people like it, because it's like, you're getting to know them more and, like, I guess getting to go further in your relationship, I guess, if you can say that. Uh, if that makes sense. Like, it's not a normal relationship because it's pretty much one way and it's not face-to-face. -face. But 
people out there do feel like they can trust these YouTubers, like, they, even though they've never met the person, or that the YouTuber doesn't know they exist, the, the viewers still think of them as a friend. And I think that why they are friends, I guess, well, first, because uh, they have to be consistent, like, they have to make a lot of stuff, so that means a lot of time you can spend with them. You can't have a relationship that's just talking and get to know them better, because some things the other person doesn't want to talk about, or... Uh, mainly, it's that you have to do stuff. Like, some of it is making memories with the person to have a friendship or whatever kind of relationship. That you have to go do stuff, so then you have memories with them. And that by doing things, you have conversations that get brought up in the midst of what you're doing, and you can have fun with them. You're a Where if you just are talking to them, there's none of the fun memories of whatever else. I think that gaming is popular because watching the games, like the games are the doing. You're, the games are the thing that you and the other person are doing, and that's what strengthens the relationship, and that's... and the relationships are why gaming's so big. So where you, you can have the vlogs that people just talk, and that's... usually a talk is just when you have something specific in mind. Like, a lot of what uh, relationships are is just going and doing a bunch of stuff. It's Touchdown. not a ton of talking about stuff. Like, who wants to be friends with someone who only talks about serious stuff and never has any fun? I don't think that would be a good relationship. I mean, there are those people out there. And sometimes you need those relationships but you have to have, uh, like, friends. This car is really weird because it's like the camera's, like, higher up, so then you're seeing everything from first higher up, and it seems like it's kind of looking down more. It's a little bit weird. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think that's probably why gaming's so big. It's because the sad thing is, is that a bunch of people don't have friends or people they trust or people they can go to and they have a lot of stuff going on in life that's hard and they want a distraction so YouTube's their distraction or games are their distraction and by the videos they watch and the people the games are doing something to distract them and in the process the doing something with someone, it forms a relationship and then they become their friend even though the person posting the videos doesn't even know them. Uh, and why that games are... I just laughed that dude. And why games are doing stuff together, it doesn't seem so much these days that it's you are watching someone play the game. It's more that you're incorporated into it in that you, like, they are controlling it, but it's more like you're sitting down with them and watching them play it. Like, you kind of, and, with, and through the comments, you can kind of have input on what they do, or you can try to help some. And it... That's why YouTube's so cool, that you can make relationships from people that you never met across the globe, 
and talk to them, and it's a good source of uh, putting good out in the world. So the goal here is to drift. Did I get the goal? Oh, skip you. Skip you. Gosh dang you, game. I was drifting. I have to go through the whole race again. Oh my goodness. And I think uh, to add on to the doing games with the people you're watching it, it's like some of it is also the experience, that you're experiencing it together. And I think why some people don't like collabs with people is because then it's more of watching people play a game because they're not talking to the audience as much, or the viewers, but to the person they're playing with. So where that's why I I do collabs, like with Steven. I like to collab with uh, some other people, like some actual YouTubers in the future, uh, because that'd be pretty cool, and then both our channels can grow together, because people who watch my stuff can see their stuff, and people who watch their stuff can see my stuff. Collabs are more so watching people play a game than playing it with them. Like, the people playing the game, they are talking to each other, and not so much the viewer. That makes the viewer not so incorporated into the video. Now sometimes those people doing the collab, they actually do address the audience, and then they feel connected again. Why people like collabs is because then they get to see other people, and they get to, well, some see how uh, the person playing the game is with other people. I think some of it is that sometimes they have more fun with more people, like there's more jokes going on and more conversations, I guess, going on, where it, then it kind of becomes kind of a podcast with a game going on in the background. There we go. That has to be goal. That has to be goal. Give me the goal. Give me... Why aren't you giving me the freaking goal, game? I'm getting a different car. This is dumb. Okay, this car should be good because it has absolutely no handling. Why is this one such a pain? Okay, let's practice. Let's get a practice run. Let's just Three, miss two, those. One, go. And then we can... That's not a drift? Why... Can we get some drift? Maybe we should... Yeah, we should just do that going over the finish line. Just do our circle we drift thing as we always do. And now this camera angle is really weird because it's like super low to the ground. I don't know if it's because I'm I was I got used to the other one or because it's actually lower than the main cars I do. That's a jet going over. What kind of jet is it? Seems like a fighter jet or something. Passenger jet of some sort. I can't see out the window. Yeah, I bet it's a fighter jet or a big, big jet going over. Yeah, we got a new route. New route. I don't like that. New route. Like grout. I am grout. You know. I am Groot. You know. Groot. Grout. Let's practice. Practice run this. Practice run. Practice run. Okay. So we get into the drift. And then we we get into the drift. We 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 get into the Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna screw it up again and 
I do not appreciate this game. So with the mini golf, I'd like to think that all four of these uh, tracks, like they're obviously not on the same map, but I like to think that because they're all mini golf, that they are like all part of the same course. One is hole one and one is hole two or a couple holes or something. Okay, let's try this. There we go. That should work. If it doesn't, well, third time's the charm, as they say, so it should work. This is the time. This is the time. We can do it this time, okay? Okay, are you ready? Yes! We finally did it. Holy cow. Finally. Now we can move on to the next one. No, please don't play that again. Let's take formula formulator. Formulator. Oh man. That's bad. Okay, so mine in snake and blue weapon. So I took a quick break, walked around the house, got some water because I've been recording for an hour, actually over an hour so far. What? Thanks for telling me there was a blue thing back there. I got that goal already. Nice. This car is kind of cool because it's like flat. No, I don't want to take out him out because I have a mine and I have to do my part which is putting a mine in the snake and I will get him this mine will hit him in the snake if I just yeah nice one and yeah I told you I get him that dude with this uh, with the little spear holding everything that he looks like some, like, trying to be, like, cute, like, tough, but he ends up being a slightly cute, uh, tribesman or something. Oh, you can kind of see the Formula 8, uh, like, style to it, where you have the front piece in front of the front tires, and then it kind of goes around. It's like they just added the two side pieces. I'll do creepy car just because it fits the race, but normally I wouldn't use this car and I don't like this car. It's creepy. It might be a fine car, but the paint job, no thank you. Okay, this is gonna be interesting because this one, we have to get a thousand drift points and a supercharged mortar. The thing is, is that it's an eliminate, Three, two, so one, I can't really stay back at the beginning and drift around. Okay, right, I think now I can chill Touch here down. for a minute and do some drifts. Let's get the drift. Oh shoot. I'm in sixth. I should probably move some. Let the next guy die. Okay, now I have supercharge. Please be a mortar. Please be mortar. That's a mine. Well, it's not mine anymore. I got rid of it. Oh, that's cool. By the spikes down here. Let's spin around in here. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. Nice. We got that one. Now we just gotta hit every single one of these things so then we can try to get a mortar nice don't hit me that was very close give daddy a mortar give daddy a mortar please thank nice you not really i can i kill you i have very few chances Touch left hey guys Nice. We got the goals. We have to use the Cove Light Racer though. Because look, so parachute and then Cove Light. 
Silence her car. Away. So we have to win with this one, but we also have to shoot someone with a parachute. Can I get parachutes? Game. Game. Parachutes, please? No, airstrike. Oh, okay. And I can't use it. Is my shift button broken? Boost? Oh, oh, I went through it. I thought I was going to hit that thing. Why is it always this level that I have to keep redoing? And I think that nail back there was just a demon, or got controlled by the demon in the last level, and moved on its own. Yes! Okay, dude! Dude, come on, I need to hit you, and then I'm going to win. No, it's freaking don't get hit by the crab! I have the freaking parachutes, but no, he has to get hit by the freaking crab. Oh my goodness. Why is it always this level? It has to do over and over and over again just to get one stupid goal. I'm just gonna see if being at a different position in the pack gets me different things in this. Whoa, double flip. Oh, he just got him in the water, dang. I hate these goals that are just all luck. That it's just luck of the draw that you get the weapon you need. Restart event. Yeah, skip all this, skip this, skip this. Let's get those parachutes and not have what happened the first time happen. Give parachutes. Not a shield. And I don't need to not be able to use the stupid weapon. Weapon. Use the stinking... <sighs> Why can't I use it in that area? And then I can't get the next one to get parachutes. Why are parachutes so hard to get? The one time I do get them, I can't use them because the stupid AI is just like, uh -huh, no. Parachutes. Parachutes. Parachutes! Not smoke. Smoke's what you get when you have a plane that's crashing, and when you have a plane that's crashing, you jump out of the plane with parachutes, not a Tesla! You jump out of the plane with parachutes, and then when you get to a certain altitude, you pull your chute, and it opens up, and you slow down, and then you hit the ground with a parachute, and it, you don't die. But what happens when you don't have a parachute? You die. So when the game doesn't give you a parachute, it makes you want to die, because you just Ugh, have to do it over and over until you get a parachute. It's like going back in time and then trying to get a parachute so you survive in the future. It makes perfect sense, right? And those are rockets, not freaking parachutes. And if I get parachutes right now, nope, we're stupid. Why does this game hate me? It's just like, no. No, you, you can't get parachutes because you suck. And if we get parachutes right now, no, 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 we're done, we're done, we're done. How am I supposed to do this one? Oh my freaking goodness! Come on guys, get out of the way. Stop messing with the crab. Stop hitting on the crab. You get it? Hair, uh, shoot. You need to pair a shoot with another shoot. Yes! Thank... Disabled! No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Disabled? Thank goodness. No, no, no. One... Yes! Sweet mercy me. Now we are going in reverse because I just want to die the map, you see the map at a whole new angle going backwards. Ain't that right, Jim? Boom. Thank God. So this one is 
another one that we just have to happen to get this certain weapon. Wonderful. We have to get an EMP. Oh, and then I get parachutes right off the bat here. I don't need parachutes anymore, game. Thank you very much. I need an EMP. If you could give me that right now, that would be great. I don't need shields because shields don't do hardly anything. Except for the one time that I activated a shield that I didn't need and ended up needing it. Remember that time? Yeah. That time was just karma. Instant karma. You get it? Karma? Haha. Uh -huh. I mean, yes, thank the lord on high. We are done. Let's actually go this way. Whoa, that's... Whoa, that was weird. I want to be the next one eliminated, guys. Yeah, do them flips. Oh, we're stuck. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'd like to move on with my life. I'd like to move on. I don't want to keep wasting my life away trying to get all these goals and weapons and stuff. That's very annoying. And Okay, another Eliminator. Wonderful. Let's, uh, get the Rockster, because we're going to the Rocks. Get Big Air. I don't know if this was the great card to choose. Probably not. I'm going to get, uh, my fancy new card. Just wondering, what if I did the jump right now? We're done. We're done. We're done. I'm out. Yes. Mic drop. This is amazing. I am a genius. See? That is how genius happens. Just... Oh, man. Wonderful. Right there. Pristine. Perfecto. So we get to uh, go back because we need a different car. Wonderful. Okay. We are back. We have Midrift, which is the car we need to win with. And Three, two, one, we need go. to also get, do some drifts, some drifty drifts, the drifty drifts, the drifty drifts, you know? Just need to get 2,000 points there, and then we need it to get, um, I didn't get the goal? Nice landing. goal two there we go. Thanks, man. And now we have to win with this car. And can we do that? Yes, we can. Just like Bob the Builder said. What? It looks like the rocket went over him because he's so low. Okay. 45 seconds to get two people. I don't think it's happening because I wasted time at the beginning. We will be fine, though. Let's, uh, recharge these weapons here. And then let's, uh, blow him out of- blow- Stupid work! Work, you buttons! Work! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. 20 seconds. I think we can do it. T minus 15 seconds, and he is dead. Yes, we, we are going, folks. Yes, yes, yes. You know how easy this one is? This is supercharged bottle rockets, and what do we have? We have rockets already. So you know what we have to do? We just have to do our fancy Drifter Rooney here thing. You know? You know what that is? You know? Uh, get them bottle rockets. And it, that's... And how we do that is by supercharging the rockets that we were given. And how do we supercharge them? Well, we just do our fancy drift thing here that we are doing right now. And then we get the thing if this car would work. Ain't that right? Ain't that life? Supercharge, Supercharge ready. ready. Supercharge ready. And now we have the fanciest uh, rockets of bottle nose dolphins. And we will either get killed by time, which is probably what's going to happen, or um, somehow pass the person who doesn't exist who's stuck somewhere on this track. Yep, we're running out of time. Wonderful. D minus 9 seconds, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two. I can't activate my weapons. Okay, I'm not gonna quit yet because we have to get a different car. Always, always a different car. Um, but we have to get the 2,000 drift points. So I was thinking we could just get the 2,000 drift points right now. Um, but this car also sucks, so maybe instant regret that, um, right there. Um, this car sucks at drifting. Or maybe I just proved myself wrong and... Oh, okay. And if I win in this time limit, I'm really gonna regret not changing, because that means I could have done it with the other car, and... I should have switched right away when I found out I needed it. Oh, hey, dude. How's it going? Yeah. Only yeah. One more to go. yeah. I'll be saving time by killing them all. And then I have to go back and do this thing Touchdown. all over again. Three, Let's make this two, quick. One, I've been go. playing for an hour and 40 minutes so far. And we are just now finishing um, the second one. Not the, not even the third or the fourth, but the second zone. I'm gonna be at this for like four hours, just trying to get all these dang goals. I want to go home, have lunch, to Domino's Pizza that I didn't order, and go have a life. Oh, that dude's back here. Just banging his head against the wall. Me too, man. Me too. We are now at the attic. And we have to go get this thing. Let's uh, get a drone. Yes. Mr. Drone. I am a drone today. I am a robot. I am a drone controlling a car. Um... We need to get a supercharged weapon and shoot it on the pool area. And if I just do lots of drifts and drafts and stuff and collect all of them points and stuff and things, you know, I might, might just be able to do that thing. Oh, dude, you're dead. Sir Topham Hat, can I call you that from Thomas? You know, Sir Topham Hat. He kinda looks like him, just the not fat Baldwin brother. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't think he... Actually, he wasn't a Baldwin. Actually, in the Thomas live-action movie, there was a, uh... One of... I think it was Alec Baldwin, was... Oh, I can do it. I can do the supercharges. Yeah, yeah, supercharge this, and then pool table, pool table, pool table, and blam. Nice. Okay, now we just gotta finish. Uh, in the, the live-action Thomas movie, I think Alec Baldwin who I think is also the narrator for all the regular episodes, was one of the director, inspector, train dudes, you know? You know what I'm talking about? One of the conductors, something? Was the other dude another Baldwin? Maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time, why should I remember? Nope, we got to uh, go back, we gotta go back, we gotta get a different car, gotta get a different car, uh, exit. Cool one, where are you? You're not very cool. This car is just so dumb because it's like, it feels like at these speeds doing any drifts would tip it over. Like, that would be hilarious actually. Like, you're just driving along and then, uh, <laughs> cool one's so weird because it's like that the driver's side window the windshield is just out like why 
Welcome everybody to Science Speedway! You need to get big air and I should probably switch cars. The ultimate stare down, just looking at here and going to choose the right car. Just by peripheral vision, because peripheral vision is amazing, and the people who don't have it probably shouldn't be driving. I'd probably go as far to say that, just just, just maybe shouldn't be driving, because, you know, blind spots and all that, if you've ever read that book, that is the driver's manual. Um, steering? Steering, where did you go? Has anyone found steering? Um, I think I lost it back there at mile post 10. Whoa, don't fall off there, Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, no. Jimmy. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this could be a good one. Let's just do this jump. That it was not a jump. That was a waste of a boost because it wasn't a jump. Now I gotta go find another boost because freaking Jimmy over here didn't get me a boost for Christmas. I asked for a boost for Christmas and that was the only thing I asked for. But did anyone supply? No, because Jimmy is just a big pile of Jim. You know how that works. All them gyms around, those news people. Now I need a boost. I need the big air. I need big air. It, you take air and you make it bigger. And how do you do that? Boost, not fire. Boost have fire. Maybe that's why they do that. But I need that sick big air. Jim. Jim. Jim, my supplier of all the dr no, no, not drugs. I was gonna say uh, gerbils. A drug. I mean, not not the drug lord. Uh, um, you know them uh, gerbil lords. They gotta have a good supply of gerbils. You know. I guess we gotta restart because I need my big air, my big air, whatever that is. A big air. Do you know what a big air is, guys? Do any of you know what a big air is? You know how much big air I need? You know how hard it is to find big air? It's very hard these days because cars just don't have the suspension to be able to do big air. But this car does. You see how high it is off of the ground? I think it should be lower, but I mean, to get big air, you gotta raise your suspension so you just don't destroy everything in life that you love and hold dear to your heart. I know, that was my collision. That's not, that's even littler air than the other air I got. You know, there's air all around us, but for some reason, it is so hard to get this certain air. This certain big air. Jim? Since you are the supplier of boosts, or not boosts, because you can't give me any, and boosts give me big air, does that mean Jim is the supplier of big air? Think about it. Smoke, what garbage is Jim supplying right now? Mortars? Don't need them. You know what I really would like? Is some big air suppliers? That was pretty cool. But, it's not worth it. So, you know what we do? We go back to the restart, and game, we love you and all. We play you for hours and hours. I've been playing for two hours, by a matter of fact. But, you know, what we don't like about you is the lack of boosts that you give us. You might give us boosts at the beginning and boost rings to go through to... Uh, put on our woman's hand that we will have in uh, 10 billion years, um, aka when we're dead and we won't have one. Anyway, uh, 
we just hate you when everything is based off of luck, and luck is just very stupid and chance-like. And we don't like chance. Chance is a fool. Chance over there, he... He, um... Is not on our side. He hates us very much. And... Um... We wish we could disown him, but... Um... That's just not possible yet in our world. Give me a boost. Can somebody give me a boost? I need a boost to the roof up there. You know? Up there. See, this kind of boost? Nah, not what, not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a boost, you know, where uh, you put your foot on their hands and then they give you a launch up. Yeah, that kind of boost. No one has hands in this game. So, I don't think I'm getting that kind of boost either. Thank the Lord on high. Let's see if it works. Thank God. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Bye, dudes. Hi, how's it going? Oh, let's just look at the dollhouse here. Up. Oh. Hey, man, how's it going? Now I'm in fourth. Now I'm in 16th. Oh, just kidding, not 16th. I had 16 seconds. That's not how the brain works. You know? Three, two, one. Ah, well, I I don't care, I got the goal. That's all I care about these days. Yep. No, thank you. No, no, no playing of this thing. Okay, this is a mission. We must find the secret uh, shelf area. Okay, is that clear? Do you understand your mission? Good? Okay, Let, let's do this. We must find this secret shelf area, and we must kill all drones, because drones are not the cars we are looking for. Okay, we must find the secret shelf area. You smell that? I think it's here. I think it's nearby. Look, ooh, ooh, I see a shelf. Ooh, is that secret shelf area? Yes, it is. And now we can fight off the secret shelf area, and we can shoot uh, uh, one more fool up the stairs, and he is trying to come right toward us. But no, he's dead. I've gotta switch cars again. <laughs> they love this Cove Light Racer. I don't know what it is with him. He might be a silencer, he might be quiet, he might be an electric car, and that's why he's so silent and uh, undercover and covert. But Cove Light, we, we don't like undercover light. Like infrared light, it's very helpful, very cool, but our human eyes think it's uh, in undercover. Like cameras, we have to put filters on it, um, so it doesn't screw everything else up. Because our eyes can't see it, so we gotta make cameras not see it most of the time. Like medical stuff is an exception. And cove light, that light was freaking out. That was just like, maybe, maybe that undercover light was screwing it up. Maybe, maybe. Hey dude, how's it one? Uh, you are the cool one, and... Oh, I'm sorry, I think I'm the cool one now, because uh, I think you're dead, and someone who's dead can't really be that cool. I mean, you can always say, oh yeah, he was really cool, but he's dead now, but really? We are gonna drift and burn, because you know what happens when you drift? Not draft, but drift. Drift, um, drifting, you get lots of, um, burning tires. Like, you have to replace your tires much sooner. And, you know, drift and burn 24-7 here. Uh, he is a great racer and uh, likes to uh, drift Touchdown. a lot, and which ends up making him burn his tires a lot. And, you know what we have to do? We have to kind of... Uh, drift for eternity here because um there's this thing called 35,000 points that we don't like 
he he's not a very good friend. He's like he he's very demanding, and we we always have to meet his needs, or we can't progress in life or get a fancy new car. You know what I mean? Yeah, beat that. Name of the game. I wonder if these other fools will actually finish the race and I won't be able to even do one lap. That would be nice because then I don't have to do awesome. anything this race but rack up them points. Hey guys, how's it going? I'd like to uh, petition for you um, just winning the race. I think, aren't, aren't they on board with that? Don't they want to win? I, I think they do. I think that's a pretty good offer. I get to, uh, it's a win-win situation because I don't need to win. They want to win. And what I need is to get a bunch of drafting points. And, and when I get my 35,000 points, then the game is on. But the game is not afoot yet because I haven't got my 35,000 points. It's like 35,000 points. This is the game's way of saying it's like, hey, hey, game, can, hey, dude, um, can you, uh, 35,000 points? Yeah, yeah, 35,000 points. Yeah, that's, uh, giving everyone else a head start. Um, I'd like to see if you can win, but, uh, I'm not sure if you can. Inside the Heart Biology Handbook Marine Life Micro Life. Interesting. This kid or maybe someone else in the family who lives in the attic likes uh, biology and marine biology of all things. That's very cool. I used to like marine biology. I still do. Favorite animal is the orca. It's a very cool creature. Hey, they're on their last lap? Question mark? I think so. Oh, I got shot. Wow, it's nice to know that they still accept me in the race. Yeah, I could have done, like, probably 50 supercharges by now. Um, thanks for telling me anyway, though, dude. Hey, hey, dude, you're messing up my drafts, my drifts, man. Do I get 35,000 grand? I would pay a lot of money for, for $35,000. I wouldn't pay $35,000, though, for $35,000. Or, uh, more than $35,000. I might pay, uh, $34,999 to get $35,000, but... Goal one complete. Thank the Lord! Can we end this race already? They've already made three laps. Do I literally have to do three laps for them to be like, oh, okay. Can they just say, timed out, because... You suck so much. And my goal for the rest of the tournament is to get first place with this last place position on the first race. Yeah, that makes sense. I think all they'll give me now is a uh, like boost, or almost everything they'll give me is just boosts out of them things because they're like, hey, we want you to finish the race already. Hurry up, kids. It's, it's uh, getting to be lunchtime. Where's my Domino's Pizza? Come on! I don't know if I've ever had Domino's Pizza, but come on, keep the joke alive. Practice makes perfect. Round one, That's a good quote right there. Practice makes perfect. In other words, he's saying, try not to suck as bad, do better next time, get skilled. Look at those times. The seventh place dude, who's the one who hit me, he got five minutes in almost 16 seconds. Me? Pulling up the rear. I mean, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm wonderful at being the caboose. 7 minutes, 23 seconds. Wow. S accomplishments! That's life goals right there. Sucking so bad that all, all the AI of the easy mode crush you. And then having the game say, practice makes perfect. Because I obviously, not really, need to practice a lot more to be able to beat these guys and win this tournament. But instead of kicking me out of the tournament, they're like, no, you can continue. He might just suck at all of these and stuff, but 
we're gonna let him continue. And, oh man, if this was a real-life race, this would be the underdog story of the year. Because you're just like, dude's doing donuts on the first race, and he sucked so bad, he got a couple minutes behind everyone else. And then what happened? He crushes every single other one. And you know why he did that in the first place? Because he needed a goal. And that was to lose so bad in front of everyone else, and then make an underdog story, um, even though it's not really an underdog story. You get it? You get me? Yep, that's English. Can you give me what's mine? No. No. It would have been funny if I actually did get a mine, though. Give me what's mine. Haha. Uh -huh. Also, look at all that carnage and mayhem I caused. That's all mine. Okay, let's look at the leaderboard. Let's let's look here. Who's in first place? Okay, look. Back at it, tied for third place. Man, man, look at it. I was last in eighth. And now just one race. One race. Changed it all. Now I'm in third. What's up with the game making it all about me? Because they're always giving me mines. They're always giving me what's mine. No, Jimmy. Jimmy's dead. It was a good thing there's a bunch more Jims out there in the world. You know, like Jim Fallon, uh, Jim in the news studio, Jim the cameraman, Jim the reporter, Jim the other reporter, Jim the weather person, and Jim. We also have a uh, Jim Purdy. It's like Jeff Purdy, but Jim Purdy, where everything is Jim, 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 Jim Purdy. Welcome, Jim. And longtime star of Jim Purdy, Jim. And coming back at it again with a new chance, Jim. And our host, Jim. I choose Jim for four hundred. Jim, 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 Jim. What is Jim? That is correct, Jim. You see, at first they're like, oh, practice makes perfect, pat on the back, you suck, by the way, and now he's like, you're a winner. Yes, yeah, man, you, you, you got this. Look at me, second place, I can get a win, you know? I will make that comeback story of the year. Thank you. Here's my imminent. Oh, wonderful. Just what I wanted to hear. No, we should give the parrot up in the cage up there a name. Should he, he, should he be named Parrot Keat? Or Keat for short? Or Keith? I mean, Keith? Yeah, Keith. Parrot Keat. Parrot Keith. Parrot, Parrot Keith. Keith, Keith. Should we name him Keith? Keith the bird? That's a weird name. I don't care. It's sticking now. Keith the bird. We could have named him something like uh, uh, Petrie. Petrie, that's a common bird name, I think. Uh, Percy. Um, we could have... Why is it all peas? Is it because you have uh, parakeet and um, parrot? Hey, Keith, how's it going? And we can have squawk. Yep, very, very good. Cockadoo. Um, that that's a bird, I think. Cockatoo. That's that that's what it actually is. Cockatoo. Um, it's not a cockatoo. <laughs> Cockatiel. Name that bird teal, like the color. I had a bird once, and uh, we got rid of it because it was very noisy. We tied for first. Comeback story of the year. I have been recording for two and a half hours. Oh man, what is my life? 45,000 points. Finish. Screw life. Yes. I'm not happy about this one. Because this one, Three, two, one, is 
go. We have to do. We have to do this tournament twice. You know how happy I am about that. I I know you you know how happy I am that you know when we don't have to just do a tournament that's already long, but then do it a second time. No. If I just keep crossing this finish line here, does that mean I finish the lap? Does that mean, hey, I'm on the next lap. I'm on the next lap. I'm on the next lap. I win. Hey guys, I win. So why we have to do it twice is because, uh, one is get 45,000 points, so even worse than last time. And second is finish first place in every round with Jackhammer. So, oh, yep, it cuts out at 6,000. Um, so, I can't get 45,000 points and win every round, as shown by last time when I only had to get 35,000 points. Um, but, to be able to have all these points count, I have to actually finish the tournament. I can't just be like, sup, um, I quit, but give me the flame. Why did I waste my life doing this and making this video? That is a very good question. I know a few other people have asked that same question. Why did I waste my life making this video? Because I can. That was their answer. And, you know, I think... That's a great answer, because you can try new things in life. You have the chance to try new things and go against the grain and try new methods of doing old things, like making videos, for example. You can make a video about drifting around in circles for a year and somehow make it entertaining like I did this one, maybe. If you guys think it's entertaining, please leave a like and a comment. Maybe consider subscribing. Maybe hitting the little bell and becoming part of the notification squad. All that typical sellout crap that every other YouTuber on the planet does except me because I think if you are going to hit the like button, like if you like the video, you're gonna hit the like button. I don't have to go tell you, like, oh yeah, remember to hit the like button. Mm-hmm. Fifty years later, we are still here in the drift zone. This car has been spinning in around, spinning in circles for the last millennia. He might be dead, but who knows, maybe this is just a drone. I don't know. This car, though, it has closed one of our bowling alley lanes. And it, this bowling alley has stayed open for the last millennia just because of this promotional stunt. Everyone has come around the world to see the ever spinning hot wheel car in the bowling alley. Thank God. Now it's time to just waste a bunch of time trying to get to the end, you know? Can I get some program to just autopilot my car to the end? Just so then I can just go have lunch. That would be nice. Can I go have lunch now, guys? Where's my lunch? Where's my brunch? I was close. I almost did it. What kind of soda do you guys like? I like root beer? Oh. I had a really good cherry vanilla thing the other day. Oh man, that stuff is good. Ginger ale. What about drink? Eggnog's pretty dang good. If you ever want something nice and creamy, it's like, do you ever want something filling or thick or something, but not food? Just want a drink? Well, eggnog's your drink, man. Milk's thick, but it's not thick enough. Root beer floats. They're good. The sucky thing about eggnog is it's only 
part of the year and a bunch of countries don't sell it. Same with root beer. A bunch of countries don't have it. Okay, so there is four minutes left on the camera here and of storage. I mean, I've been recording for two and a half hours. You gotta give it a break. So I'm probably gonna have to uh, end the recording here and finish the other two races off camera and then I'll be back. I don't know why I'm putting through myself through this torture. You know, this would be a great punishment for, who knows, charity live stream. You could just be like, hey, if I reach this goal of a hundred million dollars for whatever Oh no, try again. Yeah, yeah, I know. Try again. It'd be a great punishment because I hate it. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the tournament and then we'll be back. Okay, okay. So we're back and we're gonna do this tournament. So the music isn't working for some reason. And uh, I got some lunch. I didn't have Domino's pizza. I had a good burger. It had uh, cheese and bacon and mustard and uh, corn chips. Might sound weird. It was good though. We were talking about root beer earlier. Root beer. It's good. Good stuff right there. Okay, so now I got to win with the slowest vehicle in the game, there is no room for messing up. Actually, there's a little bit of room for messing up. Not much, though, because if I don't come first in every race, like if I come second in the last race there, it's done. It, it's over. Let's just take another sip. Good. We are now at two hours and 50 minutes of me playing this game. Yay! I like the exhaust sound on this one. The engine noise is quite rumbly. Wow. The sting as it goes down. Can I supercharge the supercharge? Nah, it's not working. Hey, there's a dude. He's just below me. He's at a good distance. Just like some people in life. We're getting the torturous tournament out of the way. And I have to get like all these boosts or something because this dude is right here. And this is a hard one. Uh... Oop, nice, 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 nice. We must be on our way to winning and not getting caught by this guy. I, I want to be far enough ahead that I'm not getting tailgated by him either. Let's crack that one open. Crack open a cold one. I was having root beer, not beer. Flipperoo, flipperoni, flipperdoo. These guys are on my butt. Get out of here, guys. I don't like you. I don't like you being right on my rear end. Or should I say rear bumper? No, 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 no. No, you two, come back here. I know you're fancier cars than me, but I don't care. You will be passed by me and I will take first place in every round and destroy your faces. We are doing just fine and dandy. Look at that lead and we are about to win because this guy is not fast enough for my skill. He might have a faster car but I am better skilled. We have to win the next one. If we lose the next one, I have to restart the whole entire thing. And I do not want to be doing that because we have been playing for three hours. 
That's too long. You too. Okay. I'm on their butts. That's fine. That's fine. We can do this because I have a boost. No. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. That dude behind me, he has no... He, like, his right tail light is out. That's something that I found out in the last one is that the re the right rear tail light is out. Actually, you don't have a front tail light, so why did I say rear tail light? I don't know. No, no, I don't accept losing on this one. Failure is not an option. One more lap, the last lap. This is it. This is it, folks, the last lap. We've been doing good this whole time. This whole time, don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Great self-motivation right there. Don't screw it up. And, 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 and we are, we have a win. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the hard part is done. Yes, we are almost done. We are on the final stretch, guys. On that final stretch to finishing all of easy mode. Let's do it. So this one, we need to supercharge a mortar and hit someone with it. You know what would be bad? If this game had damage. We are hitting the walls so much that if they had damage, we'd be toast. That would change everything and it'd be so hard to drive. You couldn't just floor it Every time, you'd actually have to, like, slow down and break some. We need the mortar. 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 Give me a brick and mortar, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, kids, come here. Daddy's got something for you. There we go. Nice. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Now, we can just finish the race. Now it's just a nice cruise. Don't have to worry about winning or losing. Just about doing. It's kind of hard to relax with this rock music. This one's super easy. It's 7,000 points. That's nothing like those 45,000 points I earned a billion years ago on that stressful tournament. Ring around the rosy. Where's a rose? I don't have a rosy. Wait, should we put rose from Star Wars in there? That's why we are the stormers, because we storm in. And that airstrike, that's like the lightning. That's just a little zap. That's just a little zap. Because now, because what comes after the lightning is thunder. And man, look at that thunder. Same with fame. Fame is the same way. Like, the person is like, they do something amazing, and they're the lightning, and then the rewards is the thunder. Sure, maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Okay, let me show you tail lights out. You see? Only the left one activated when I braked. You see? You see? It has a tail light out. The cops would pull this one over right away. They're like, man, you got a fancy car. You were going uh, five over and your tail lights out. So first we got to give you a fix it ticket for your tail light. And second, we got to give you a wasting finite resources ticket because you weren't going fast enough to give you a speeding ticket but we wanted to give you some sort of speeding ticket, and uh, we want to say uh, gas is not yours anymore. What you pay for is not yours anymore, and you're wasting it. You're wasting your gas by going over the speed limit. And the driver's just like, um, I'll see you in court because you don't know what speed it, uh, I get the best gas mileage at. We need to hit six people with a bunch of weapons and we need to boost through the corkscrew so that means i need to get a boost to do that you kind of need a boost to 
do things like that. You can't just use this boost because this boost gets used up before the corkscrew. Gosh dang. Okay, let's uh, just be like, hey, there's a mine. Well, it gave me a little boost there. Okay, and then we can get this one. Where are people that I can shoot? Hey, guys. Hey, my old pally friend. There you go. You just got shot. Okay, we got smoke. Stupid smoke. Smoke is stupid. Same with smoking. That's also stupid. And you shouldn't do it. You're gonna ruin your lungs and then end up dying. Well, we gotta go back and do a... Another one to find a boost. Yeah. Okay, now we just gotta do it again. Hey, get out of here, dude. I'm thinking if I stay in the back of the pack, I should be able... I'm not first, I'm eighth. I might have a higher chance of getting a boost. Yes, we got it, we got it. Switch to boost. Yeah, nice one. Now... We just gotta finish the race. Blam. Boost away. Up the gutter. I broke the game. No. No, game. Game, no. Game. Game, no. No. No game. Game, no. Well. I guess we got a task manager this one. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, now we have to get a boost again. Uh, why do you hate me so much that you make me do stuff over and over again? Now I have to put up with your stupid luck again. Just be like, oh, the, well, glitchiness in the screen there. What is going on? I need a boost. Can you give me a boost, game? What is up with these tires on this car? Only this car, it happens that those tires just are freaking out. They're just like, hey, let's turn white. It's a ghost car. Okay, well, no boost. Restart. Give me boost. Give me boost. Yes. Oh, you mother... I, the instant I get a boost, they're just like, ha, 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 no. Oh my goodness, if you guys don't give me a boost, give me, thank the Lord, praise God Almighty, we have victory over a stupid corkscrew. Thank goodness. Wow. What just... Holy shoot! I didn't think- I thought I was going down. I thought I was dead. I thought I was gonna be gone. But nope. Nope, I actually survived that, surprisingly. It's so much more fun back here. With all these guys who just like to have fun and play jokes on you. And by jokes, I mean, um attacking you all the time and trying to make you lose by whatever means possible. And we are going to go this way today. Oh, yes, this game, tons of the boosts. Yes, thank you, game. You finally understand what I need most in life. And by what I need most in life, it, I mean what I need most at this moment in time in this level. Which now, I don't need anything in this level except for it to save and not crash. And, I mean, not not that it crashed, it just bugged out. Pez, no, how could you betray me like that? You were Russian brother. You know why I didn't get even on that guy, even though I tried, was because do not give an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but... If someone does anything bad towards you, be loving back. 
not always true. Sometimes you got to defend yourself. But many average things that can be true. Oh, it's an eliminator. I forgot to mention that. I forgot. Well, crap. Wrong race. Wrong race strategy. If you have a strategy, but it's for the wrong race, it'll screw you up. This one, I have to get way in front of the pack in super fast and get way in front. And then I can start drifting around. I have 30 seconds to get... Yes, yes, we finished it. We got it. Whoa, wheelie there. Holy cow. I was on one wheel for a second. Man, you really need to get your taillight fixed because, you know, I just don't know if you're braking or if you're turning left, if your left blinker's on. Get that draft. Get that draft going and die. Nice. I'm in fifth. Crap. Oh, that's not crap because I'm here. It's also not crap because it's not crap. It's a car. Come on, come on ice, melt, melt. I can't die now. We need to get all these dang points. Wow, that was a nice draft, I mean drift. Now I have to finish off getting all the drifts. Yes, I did it. We are on the final stretch. These are the last two we have to do. Chicane Racer. I'll be back in a moment. This is the guy, and he's gone. Bye. Bye, Goner. We are almost done. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to guess the goal is beat this car again. Nope, it's the so fast racer. Once again, I will be back in a moment. Now we are back, and this time we are oh so fast, because we are in the so fast racer. And what do you get when you're oh so fast? A boost. So cool. So we got so fast and so cool or something like that. Yep. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Nice. Any last words? No. Okay. Die. One target remaining and one in. That is perfect. Because we are done. We are done. We are done with all the goals in easy mode. There we go. Easy mode. Done. Car. Nice. Okay. Of what now? What? Media pack? What is a media pack? Please tell me. Media. Media gallery. Okay, we got set A. I don't know what set B is, but concept images. Oh, those are... Very cool. And... They would be kind of cool as a... Oh, Shadow Mark II. Interesting. And then they changed the name. Ah. These are very neat. I like it. Very cool. Okay, so next time... We'll find out how good the car is compared to the one we got last episode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I've been playing this game for 3 hours and 45 minutes. So we'll see you next time.